Hey kids, you uh, you trying to get into Segment City? Well, you really shouldn't, because Segment City is a mature podcast, and listener discretion is advised. I'm just trying to look at, I know I'm in an alleyway, I know, I know how I look, but I got some fireworks for you kids. I got snakes and I got sparklers, that's all I got. Oh, don't give me that. Welcome back to Segment City. No, well, welcome back to NPR's to newest. Radio thing. I don't M- think... The NPR, <laughs> the news story for the today. Segment City. Is it bad? Is it good? Are they even funny? Let's find out. My name's Will Kane. <laughs> and I'm joined by. Do it. Say it. Do it in the voice. Theo Zapaco. Oh. So, oh, God. Wonderful. <laughs> we both listened to this American Life, yep. and so could you? Do you think you could do a good Ira Hi. Glass impression? Ira Glass, this week on the American <laughs> Life. <laughs> now, there's been a lot of stories going around. <laughs> now, <laughs> a lot of stories going around. I've been podcast. wondering about. Have you, have you heard about these things? Podcast. Now we got a lot of reports coming in of, of there's, podcasts. And... There's a lot of stories in the news recently about. I'm thinking of funny things, and I'm yep. failing. There's, there's a lot of... The well has run dry. No. Five episodes there's, in, we're out of material, baby. There's a lot of stories about wells in the news, hmm. and how they're going dry. This week on the... What does he say on the podcast? This week on the podcast. <laughs> we're talking about wells going dry. Stay with us. <laughs> this su- support for the American life is comes brought to you by the Psych- Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is Segment City. This is Segment City, not This American Life. No. If we can listen, I'm booking it right now. This is 100 episode, episodes in. If we get to 100 episodes, this we get is like Ira episode Glass. five. We get Ira Glass. We can't. <laughs> As you know a special much, guest. We don't even. We didn't even get Ira Glass here. <laughs> our mics combined. The prices of our mics combined. Couldn't even buy an Xbox. I don't think we could get. <laughs> We're getting Ira glass. glass. Book it. This is Segment City. A uh, conversation broken up into segments. Both Theo and I bring in uh, segments, and uh, we try to surprise each other. Sometimes we know what the segments are going to be. Sometimes we Sometimes don't. Not. This one, don't know. I don't know anything. You're going to do. Yeah. So, do you want to? Uh, well, let's start out. Do you want a, little, a little warm up? Do you want me to warm you up? Do you want do you want to warm me up for my warm up? I'll warm you up for your warm up. All right, up. and then warm, by the time we're warmed up, I'm just gonna be, be toasty. To be oh, it's gonna be it's gonna hot be. and heavy here. Oh my goodness, oh my. William, this is a little segment. Million dollars, but will get a million United States dollars. Yes, but for every day for the rest of your life, at a random time during the day, you lay an egg. And you must give it to the next person you see. No, wait, do they know? One, does it come out my butt? Yeah, Two, it sure does. Yep, that's. Do they know it comes out my butt? They don't have to know it's to come out your butt. Three, does it smell like it comes out my butt? No, it just doesn't smell like a thing. It looks like an egg. It just is. A, it's a chicken egg, the size of a chicken egg. It's not yeah. an ostrich egg. It's a chicken. It's egg. not like a human's. No, like, it's a chicken egg. And you have to give it to them. So you can run. You're like in a business meeting. You're like, oh, go, go, go. go. And then you and you run to the bathroom and you lay an egg in the toilet. But then you have to give it to the next person you see. So if you walk out and you're washing your hands and your boss comes in, you're like, hey, boss, man, I got you this. I'm on the street. You're on the street. I I say, I have to lay an egg now. I find an alleyway. <laughs> There's pavement. It falls out, cracks on the pavement. Do I need to scrape up those, sc- <laughs> those shells no, you'd and be, be like, here you go? You could do that, but you'd probably be good enough at that point to just catch it as it's falling out. Oh. You'd I go mean, swift catch it. Uh, I catch tried it to do... Me and my friends did the Slav squat, and I can't do the I Slav squat. That, is, when you poop, when you're... No, it's Slav squat is basically, uh, you do... Oh, man, this is an audio thing. <laughs> Shit, okay. Well, he's, he's gonna, gonna do it. it. It's, it's, uh, it's a squat, like a full squat to the ground with uh, elbows on your uh, knees. Except you can't have... Your, your heels need to be on the ground, too. Oh, I can't do that at all. Yeah, no, that's so hard. I'm being, oh, 
That's, That's really hard. hard. Yeah, so I, I don't think I could like slob squat <laughs> and, <laughs> lay an egg out and grab it, and then have to give it to someone for a million dollars. A million dollars. Can I save them? No, it has to be to the next. The I next mean, if you don't, if you don't see anybody for forty-eight hours, you collected you, two eggs. Then you have I to think give two you eggs overestimate. To oh, my parents! Shit! I was like, I like, <laughs> I can go weeks without <laughs> seeing anyone. I can work from home. I, don't think I mean, I'm by the time people. you gave your parents like their fourth egg, they'd probably be like, oh, okay, this is just a thing. I guess this is Will's new thing. Okay. The question is, would you accept an egg from somebody? A single if, egg? If I, if someone on the street. Tried to hand me a street egg. A street egg, yeah. A street egg. Do they have to use it? They don't have to use it. You, you don't you just care. Have it's to not your it problem them. anymore. Oh, I would... Yeah. you do would, it? I would hot potato it to them. <laughs> I go, here you go. And then I go, oh, and that's then true. That's true. You could just hot potato <laughs> and it. And then I run away. And then you run away. And then I'm egg boy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm a superhero. I'm in the neighborhood. People know who egg I am. Pen man. Henman. <laughs> the Henman. It's me, Henman. <laughs> it's human hen. It's me, Harvey Henman. Attorney at <laughs> for hire. I will egg the shit out of uh, the the defendant. And afterwards, when we're done, we won the case, we can go egg their house. It'll be great. You'll we'll, feel we'll great. We'll just have to wait a while. <laughs> we, it's one a day. We can... I have to stay by myself for 12 days without seeing anybody, and then we can go. Honey, somebody threw a single egg. At my at our house, what they were mad enough to egg our house, but they, not mad, mad enough to keep going. But frugal enough. To <laughs> buy a single now that's egg. savings. Do you think you would buy a single egg at the grocery store? You can't buy a single egg. But like, if they had, I'm it. now just imagining loose eggs. Like they sell <laughs> avocados. Each one of them has like a barcode on it. You just have a handful of them. <laughs> or even worse, you like oh, fill no, up, no, no. you fill up like a produce bag and they're like smashing together. <laughs> and I just have like a yolky sack. <laughs> the cashier is just like a teenager they go <laughs> like the, the, the hard swipe no 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 oh come on those were eggs yeah what do you think they did before they invented egg cartons to sell eggs to people was it just a basket yeah probably with a little did bit the basket, of hay. was the was the basket included or was it byob it was actually uh easter that was that was why they would collect eggs this is true facts with will kane because Bunnies. Here we go. We're about to. We're about to. Hold on. We're about to debunk the entirety of Easter. Here we go. Over to Will. Poop at eggs. And they receive a million dollars for it. <laughs> each bunny. You don't know this, but each bunny is a Why millionaire. Why are bunnies and eggs also? It's always bunnies. Easter bunny and also eggs. Easter eggs. I don't know. Why reindeer on Christmas? Oh, because uh, they like. I think they're just like northern animals. Very winter. Bunnies are like spring animals. Bunnies are everywhere. They're constantly. <laughs> bunnies are every time animals. They're every time. Literally, like I'll see them in the winter. Summer bunny. They're fall bunny. In my driveway, winter I bunny. will pull up my driveway and one will go, oh God, and run away <laughs> like there's like he's been doing something. They're always up to something. They're hiding their million dollars. They don't want to get killed because they have a million dollars. I don't know. I, I didn't answer this. I think I would do it. You could do it. I think I could hot potato it to somebody, and I think it would just become like a thing. Uh-huh. Oh, at my work though, I'd have to be. I would just place it on their desk. I go, I got this for you. Yeah, people think I'm funny enough at work that I I could probably you'd, do you'd that. You'd quickly have an op- an office reputation of being the egg guy that I no would, one really. Can understands. I just say you can just throw that away? But yeah, you can say whatever you want. You just have to give it to them. Okay. Yeah, I think I could do it. Okay, million dollars. What if one of them was hard boiled? Like every once in a while, there's a hard boiled <laughs> one. You ate a lot of fiber. <laughs> you ate like you... some spicy Indian food, and it just heated oh, up in there. And it is just it, cooked it. It has sriracha sauce already on it <laughs> when you. <cook> it. <laughs> Excuse me. That was a gross segment. Thank you. Yeah, that was a little warm. I don't thank you. you for the segments <laughs> enough. Thanks for those dumb, those sweet, sweet dumb segments. All right. Uh, here's Will Kane's dumb thought for the week. Go. What would a fifth Ninja Turtle be like? <laughs> what would his name be? What would his color be? And what kind of tood would he have? <laughs> what kind of tood? Uh, hold on, I'm looking up He's, Renaissance. Yeah, you, you gotta you gotta look up the Renaissance painters. Painters, paint, paint. What if his name was just like uh? What if his Fred? name was like uh Botticelli? Would be his name. <laughs> his name would obviously be. Okay, this could, this could be a segment of pasta or Renaissance painter because <laughs> his I name would know. be Botticelli. And his weapons. So you've got staff, swords. They're uh, all like ninja stuff. Uh, nunchucks and... Sai. Sai. So a ninja-y. What's another ninja-y thing? 
Mm. Uh, it could just be like like daggers. But that's not like that. That's, that's not like similar inspired. to Psy. Yeah. Uh, throwing stars? Throwing stars, but that's not like a melee thing. You could put them in your fingers. You could put them in your fingers. <gasps> uh, Wolverine claws. Yeah, that was what to say. Claws. <laughs> claws. Because that was an actual ninja thing. And he could climb. He could be the climber. Oh, shit. Botticelli, the what, fifth turtle. What color? There's got... there's blue, purple, red, orange. Couldn't be green. <laughs> could be green. Oh, no. <laughs> I just realized. Could be like yellow. Botticelli. That's like the... But he's the yellow turtle then. Oh, I don't want to be the yellow. With the, pink? There's got to be a girl turtle that some hacky person made, <laughs> some hacky comic book writer. Why does pink have to be a girl? It's always the... But, but it's also... The pink ranger is always name, the girl. But their name is Botticelli. Botticelli is not exactly... Hey, the, it's me, Botticelli. Mm, I'm going to go... I think... What's a good... What's Sandro a, Botticelli. Poop brown, because they live in the sewer. Good. <laughs> we did it. Book it. All the kids will love poop brown. <laughs> okay, let's go with yellow. Oh, no, uh, poop turtle. <laughs> <laughs> they are poop turtles. They live in the sewer. They live in the sewer. They, of course they live in the sewer. Where else would they live? They fight alligators, probably on the reg. Right? I mean, why would they? We don't just have like a bunch of turtles living in our sewers. This is a misconception. Hold on a minute. Is this a Theo PSA? This is a Hold on segment? a minute. Why is this a thing? Why do turtles be assumed live in their sewers when that's not a true fact? Mario assumes there are a bunch of turtles I, in our sewers. I live, well, I used to live by a uh, pond that would have like sewer drains, kind of. Like they would have the whole things. There was a lot of turtles there. Mm. They just happened to be near the sources of sewer things. I, I think they could crawl in. They probably like muck. Those <laughs> mucky turtles. I don't think I like uh, I feel how like you're I'm feel- assuming things about turtles right now. Maybe it's because I'm Shredder! <laughs> it's me! <laughs> what if he named the other turtle Shredder just to fuck with Shredder? Whoa. Shredder, we're such good friends! He's like, no, no, no! no. <laughs> I hate you, turtle! I hate pizza! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the new... Wait, Shredder has the claws, damn it! Oh, no, oh. you're right. Forgot how about, about just, that. How about just guns? <laughs> he has a single Glock. <laughs> he goes, fuck you, Shredder! He's even more... T- oh, he than- got- more you know, to brass knuckles. Brooklyn, <laughs> <laughs> Brooklyn, <laughs> New York. <laughs> he has he has pizza. He just throws pizza at people. He that's has not his a power. Weapon. No, his, they don't have powers. Yeah, them. they just sit around and eat pizza all day. If that was the case, would he have would would he have a lot of tude? Not a lot of tude. What would his personality be? If he was poop brown, he would have no tude. But if he was pink, <laughs> he'd have the most tude. <laughs> it was it was white and then somebody no it was a different color and then they no yeah it was white initially and then somebody put their reds Raphael put his <laughs> oh, red yeah. bandana there's in there's even an origin story for his mask <laughs> and he goes you fuck you Raphael and he gets so Dang mad it, I'm so mad and then he becomes the maddest turtle and then he goes on a killing spree and oh. then that's why you don't hear about him oh they disowned him yeah he got took his Glock he took oh. his big gun and uh-huh. he shot a bunch of people and then they yes. Yikes. They detained him. They did experiments on him. <sighs> well, next question. What next kind of experiments <laughs> would they do on Botticelli? Bo- 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 <laughs> <laughs> you can't even bother to remember his name, Botticelli. Botticelli. It was like remember, one minute ago. I remember. Also, isn't Botticelli like a pos? I yeah, like that's it. why you said that would be like a segment. Bot- oh, God. I think it's a brand. Botticelli. Pasta. <laughs> I love how just I just assume it's a pasta. It is a brand of pasta and pasta sauce. He he's a very saucy turtle. <laughs> Next segment, Ooh, quickly, next, quickly. His, his weapons: two ladles, <laughs> <laughs> two tongs, tongs, and a ladle. He's like, I'm gonna get you, Shredder. <laughs> he snatches the brain dude out of <laughs> like, the stomach. He's like, Whoa. gotcha. <laughs> Next segment, please. Next segment. It's your turn. Unless well, you want me to go. I went on the interweb. Okay. And I found a few amusing Amazon reviews. Oh my god, you're taking my segment. Am I? I'm doing. Well, I'm doing another Amazon segment. We'll do them back to back. Interesting. Interesting. I had no idea you were doing this. Okay. Well, this is this is my segment. This is the, the joys. Yeah, the joys of uh, Segment <laughs> City. We don't know what we're doing. Okay. Our first product was a book called How to Avoid Huge Ships. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yep. How, how, to avoid... how to avoid big ships. Huge ships. Huge ships. Yeah. 
Dan from Ontario gives it one star titled Too Informative. <laughs> he said, read this book before going on vacation. I couldn't find my cruise liner in the port. Vacation ruined. He's a fucking idiot. Wait, how to avoid... It worked too well. He avoided his ship <laughs> too, too well. It was too informative. Dave from Ontario, Canada. Had a rough time after reading two after reading uh, huge ships. How about huge ships? He had a rough time. A rough, really rough time. Couldn't go on vacation. He got a divorce. He... <laughs> it's like my whole marriage was staked on this vacation. He... Oh, and boy, I blew it. That ship was my life. <laughs> I worked on the ship and I don't know. Oh, I couldn't find, find it. Where'd my Why ship did I read go? This book? Why? Where'd my ship go? It was a recommendation from a friend. Said it was a great book. Said it was a quick read. That, but that friend also has avoided ships all of his life. <laughs> Never going ships again. Avoiding big ships. Stupid. Next one. Bick for her pens. <laughs> Wait. Tracy Hamilton. That from sounds Milwaukee. like a vibrator. No, it's not. It's literally big pens. It's just a. Be- is it? For is marketing it pink? towards women. Is it pink? Oh yeah. Oh god! I told you. Five Theo. stars says says Tracy. Five stars. Finally. Someone has answered my gentle prayers and finally designed a pen that I can use all month long. <laughs> what does that mean? Does she, regular pen, she's like, I can't. They're not feminine enough. I use it when I'm swimming, riding a horse, walking on a beach, and doing Stop. yoga. It's comfortable, Stop. leak-proof, non-slip, and makes me feel so feminine Th- and pretty. This is... That is not a woman <laughs> who wrote that. That's somebody who heard about the concept of women and wrote a review. Wait, last slide. Yeah. Since I've been using these pens, men have found me more attractive and approachable. It has given me soft skin and manageable hair and has really given me the self-esteem I need to start a book Is that club. Mr. Bick? <laughs> Mr. Bick wrote his own review. I like... <laughs> soft skin? What are you trying? I, I, I scribble on my skin every day. The ink really... I was a raggedy mess of a woman before <laughs> these wonderful these pens. pens! They're disposable pens! <laughs> They're just pink pens. Yeah. Five stars, though. Five stars? I'm thinking about ordering some. I need the self-esteem. You need- <laughs> I need to have luscious you, hair. When you're going on horses, you need men to yeah, approach I, you I and need, say, exactly. damn, that's a hot pen. Damn, that is a hot pen. And he has a blue pen for men. <gasps> and it has a bunch of spikes on it. And it's like, <laughs> it's manly. It has, it has a motor. It says bone saw. It says bone saw. <laughs> this is a review for a horse head mask. Oh, my. It's five stars. Loves it. Titled. My transformation is complete. <laughs> Come on! It is day 87, and the horses have accepted me as one of their own. I have grown to understand and respect their gentle ways. Now I question everything I thought I once knew, and fear I am no longer capable of following through with my primary objective. I know that those who sent me will not relent. I need to send other- They will send others in my place, but we will be ready. What the fuck? <laughs> this is a, a resistance of horses to- I love it. I love it. They went undercover. As a horse, and now... He fell in love with a horse. But they also, they also, after having made the transformation, had, you know, the kind heart to go back on Amazon and give back to the seller. <laughs> give it a five-star review. He stuck away from the horse. He's like, I gotta let the people know. <laughs> Trish, I need to go and leave a review. They need to know. Did the horse... Is he just wearing a t-shirt? <laughs> he just says the horse like said. standing in the field, he's like, yeah. His buddy uh-huh. is still on the mission, the, on the other, with the feet of the horse <laughs> costume. <laughs> it's like the body and the feet are another dude. And His just, butt just leaves him, and he, they're <laughs> like, like, you're I'm, only a half no, horse. No, my soul is a whole horse. My soul is a whole horse. I thought this was just going to be a fun Halloween goof, but why? We li- we're eating hay! <laughs> we're eating hay! Timothy! We're too, you're too far undercover. You're too far. And he goes, you wouldn't understand Jonathan. I am away. a horse. He goes, nee. no, no, nay, <laughs> nay, you're not a horse. Nay. And he gallops away. All right, last review. This is for a waterproof Kindle case. Whoa, that's useful. By Ben Harrison. Mm-hmm. Review says, got this for the mother-in-law for bath time, hoping it'd be crap. Her Kindle would slip out and electrocute her. <laughs> <laughs> so far, this bloody thing has been staying in one piece. Great for waterproof kindling. Crap for murder. Five stars. <laughs> Why do people do this? <laughs> their own little short stories. I like right. it because it's a little window into their life, and it's a little goof 
It's just for them. It's because just, they know... That, like, they're not going to be like, hey, look at this sick Amazon review I left on this product. Or you can't like, do you the thing of the, like, I found a really fun Amazon review. It's like, wait, but it's, it says your name right there. Oh, God. <laughs> you st- you're you the water cooler at work, and you're like, I found this really funny review. Guys, it's, check this review out. It says your name, Lenny. Oh, God. Are you trying to murder your mother-in-law? Take this egg. <laughs> <laughs> Poops out an egg, like, <laughs> like Birdo. <laughs> Like <laughs> Kazooie and Banjo Kazooie. It's gonna come out of his mouth and he's gonna spit it somewhere. I would absolutely. Okay, if you if it had to come out of my mouth, I would imagine just like. <laughs> oh. All right, so back to the business report. No, that's, um, that's now a superpower. To sp- can I spit it at speeds? Yes. We're back. By the way, we're back on to the yes, egg thing. Yes, you can thing. spit it at speeds up to forty miles an hour. Forty miles an hour. That's pretty good. I could like snipe somebody, but only once a day. If from so an if you office start a fight, building, you. <laughs> <laughs> that, would wreck someone. that would destroy someone. That's, okay, twenty. That's Botticelli's. <laughs> Botticelli's power. Botticelli. Eggs Sp- spitting. I think turtles may have eggs. I think I don't, I'm not sure about this. They might have eggs. Hey, that was a good. That was a good segment. There you go. Now on to my Amazon segment. We will see which we one is better. We are not better. sponsored by Bezos, but Bezos, if you're listening, I will take your money. It is me. Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. I am. It is me, Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Zuckerberg. I am. I am ready for your information. Put in your credit card now. Wow. All right. I also have an Amazon thing. In this segment is called Amazon Erotica. <gasps> yes. I wait, but I'm already too familiar with this genre. Nothing's going to surprise me. With erotica? <laughs> How much erotica are you reading? <laughs> I joke. So I looked. <laughs> I looked up at the behest of my brother, of all people. He was like, you know what's really funny? Look at the top sellers for erotic <laughs> romance <laughs> novels on Amazon. Because the summaries are fucking hilarious. I love it. And they did not disappoint. So this this book is called His Captive Mountain Virgin. Blackthorn Mountain Men Book Two. Book Two. Book Two. Oh, glad to know that they kept the series alive. Number one bestseller in erotic westerns. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You can buy Wait, it on pause. your Kindle for one dollar. <laughs> hold, hold on. Yeah. So many things. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that erotica, the, there's subsections like western is a oh, whole subsection. There's a lot. And the of fact things. that it's a bestseller and they're charging one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, it's on sale if you have Prime. <laughs> I mean, notified Prime I mean, member. It's only one dollar. Might as well. <laughs> so did you buy it? It's 112 pages. No, maybe. <laughs> I'll never only tell. Only my diary knows. Description: Up on my mountain, she'll play by my rules. Oh gosh! My obsession, my temptation, my <laughs> captive. I'm doing it to the... There's Yikes. italics. The things that I said my with captain. an... Ins- my captain! Get ready. When I left life as a hitman for the Russian mob years ago... Wait. Strong is, opening. Isn't this a Western? We'll get to that. <laughs> Wait a minute. I never wanted to look back. Hold on a ding dang second. I took the millions I'd made doing their dirty work and built my retreat up on Blackthorn Mountain. Away from everything. Including all the people who'd be mad that I killed them. <laughs> That's not in the thing. Those people are <laughs> That's not a, allowed to be mad anymore. Russian mob millions. So is he's this, John Wick. Is he Russian accent or is he? It is me. Do you want me to do it with a Russian accent? Sure. And I'm gonna comment all in a southern drawl. But a flesh vampire <laughs> brings her to my front door. I'm not. I'm you're not Drac- doing it. No, you're Dracula now. Blay, blay, <laughs> be, welcome to my black throne mountain me, land. <laughs> do you want to bang? But <laughs> you are a virgin. I know it based on my the hue, my rules. <laughs> <laughs> no clothes. <laughs> But a flash wildfire brings her to my front door. And from the moment I lay eyes on her, I know one thing. She'll be mine! Well, sounds more and more creepy the more you say it. Gorgeous. Sassy. Innocent. Wait. Untouched? Wait. In my prisoner... No Wait, one no, can no. no one can know I'm here, so she stays. <gasps> I'm keeping her like she's a puppy. What the fuck? Who's buying this? Mom, I found this person. I can found we this keep human. It? 
Not even his mom. His I mom's promise there. I'll take care of it. Honey, who's there? <laughs> Nothing, mom. Nothing, mom. Where'd you we even got... get the money for this? I killed people, ma, for the Russian mob. <laughs> I told you, ma. It's the mob. It's the mob. <laughs> All right, right. Oh. Is she a nice mom? She's gorgeous, sassy, innocent, and untouched. Oh, wait. How do you know just by her first eyes knowing that she's untouched? She's how can never you tell? Been, She only wears all white. The like <laughs> anyone I look put at their, you, the their first, mucky well, mink the fingers. first time I laid eyes on you, I knew you were sassy. I knew I'm it. a sassy boy. I'm a sassy boy. When I said, "Ooh, look Ooh. at you, tall man," and you said, <laughs> "You're like you're a sassy one, Ooh, aren't you're you?" Sassy. Life as a contract killer, and now as a rough mountain man, has turned my heart cold. I should keep a sweet girl like her away from me. What? But once I put what? my hands on her tempting curves, and once I taste those sweet, innocent lips, I want nothing else than to keep her as close as possible. I've saved her from the fire, but if we aren't careful, we'll both get burned. Uh, Because my past <laughs> isn't done with me. The mob I walked away... <laughs> This book, is only, this book is only 112 pages long. You're reading me the whole book. Thinks they can use Chloe to get me, but they're dead effing wrong. It says effing. <laughs> <laughs> they're dead effing wrong. Also, hold on. So many cliches. I'm so confused. Is this girl working for the mob or no. is she untouched? She's untouched. Then how is, she, how is she they going to use the mob? How, she got how is the mob going to use her? The, the classic, when you have a woman captive and somebody steals... The captive, but from no you. one knows he's there. It's like he when you find. That place and he said, "No one knows I'm it's here." It's like when you find a twenty on your on the ground, and then somebody comes by and steals the twenty from you, <gasps> and you go, "You son of a bitch!" I I didn't <laughs> I, know her, but I saw she was sassy and untouched, I, and I wanted her. That twenty dollars, I knew it was sassy and untouched, I and I will you, kill you. now. I will kill you. They're dead effing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> effing <laughs> effing. They're dead narding wrong. <laughs> Up here. I'm king! <laughs> but my mountain, she's my mountain queen! She's my mountain goat! And I'll storm heaven and hell to keep her safe! <laughs> Wait, the cliche just keep coming. Chloe's got fight in her, but once I lay my hands on her, I'm never letting go? He, I don't, did, he, is he, did he say he was about to abuse I, her? I don't know. Untouched I, by him, no bruises yet. They're going really fast between, like, machismo, I'm gonna punch some dude in the fucking nuts, back to... But I'm gonna make love to this woman. All right. It's gonna be good. Here's a note from the author. Also, I'm gonna need a review for this book. It has like four and a half stars. Ooh. It has, it's, this is a note from the author. Copy, please. Just so we're clear, this book is completely out of control. And reality <laughs> has left the building. If you're looking for realism, this ain't it. But if you've got a hankering for a growly alpha caveman hero, though... <laughs> <laughs> stop it! Nothing to claim what's his. <laughs> that you're probably going to devour this book. <laughs> Winky face. <laughs> I was just like, hey, hey, hands up, guys. guys. Not based in reality. Not based I know on... that what? this is fucking malarkey. The Russian mob <laughs> and now guy, he's a cowboy caveman. He's a ca- cowboy caveman. <laughs> uh, safe, no cheating, and H E A guaranteed. About oh, the author, is. number one best-selling contemporary romance. Author Madison Fay is a dir- is the dirty alter ego of the very wholesome, very normal suburban housewife behind the stories. While she might be a wife, mom, and PTA organizer what? on the outside, <laughs> there's nothing but hot, steamy, and raunchy fantasies brewing right beneath the surface. <laughs> Tired of keeping them hidden inside or only having them come out in the bedroom, they're all here in the form of a wickedly hot series. Single-minded alpha hero, sinfully taboo relationships, and wildly over-the-top scenarios. If you love it, extra dirty, extra hot, extra naughty. Extra cheese. This is the place for you. Just don't tell the other PTA members you saw. Uh, so that's... <laughs> <laughs> wow. that's That is his Captive Mountain Virgin. Do we have a review for that? Oh, do you want to... I don't think there's a lot of... There's 285 reviews. Yeah, get Four on and that. Four and a half reviews. right now. <laughs> Somebody did a the three star. Some issues. Oh they're, yeah, okay, yeah. Give me your liter- literary critique here. Um, I'm please, a big fan yeah. of Madison Fay, but this book has some problems that prevented me from giving it a better rating. First, there's a lot of typos. 
<laughs> Did you, that's the way it was like I'm just gonna whip this shit yeah she was I don't get bothered by a few like, but this, not almost vision. almost every page what the fuck it's almost like she didn't have an editor secondly the flow of the story was thrown off by inconsistency and inconsistency in writing for example he'd be touching her somewhere and the next sentence she'd be feeling it somewhere else then he'd say he was touching her in the first place it was jarring and threw me out of the story <laughs> and drew, drew me out of my central jerk off sash, I guess. Oh, uh, that, that you didn't that didn't say that, did it? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, what? Uh, the n- oh no, the kids called her Mrs. Jennings, and Vlad called her last name Sims. Question mark? Question mark? Question mark? This could be a great little read, but it felt rushed and not the same quality as the awesome other three in the series. It also irritated me. He said he was keeping her, and next chapter was telling her to go not at all the mountain alpha mountain man in the super bucks what? was very mad <laughs> what what this person uh was mad that it was only a hundred and like 12 pages i was just getting into it i was just getting there and then mostly these are uh just what you'd expect oh god Second book to Mountain Men. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> was... no way. Anyway, that's uh, <laughs> that's Amazon erotica. Is he Hitman? Is he Caveman? Is he He's both. Cowman? He's both. He's all three. He's all three. He's all three. And he'll never let you go. That was a long. One. That was a longer one than I thought. But do you got a segment? <laughs> yeah, I have, a, I have a segment. Okay. Well, congratulations. You've been picked for the forty seventh annual. Are there hot singles fight. in my? Animal fight. <laughs> Animal fight. Oh, ooh. <laughs> okay. You have a choice to make right now. Okay. From the list I will now read you, uh-huh. you will get to choose two to defend you. The rest will attack you. Are you ready? Shit. I need, to, I need like a flow chart. I need to write these down, but I'm not. Okay. 50 eagles. 50 eagles! 10 crocodiles. 10 crocodiles. Okay. Three bears. Okay. Seven bulls. Okay. One hunter. Ooh. Fifteen wolves. Ooh. Ten thousand rats. Five gorillas. And four lions. You get to check. You get to choose two. Gorillas, four lions. There's also a picture here for you to look at. Oh my god. You have to choose. I have a picture here for you. Um. And I want to know your reasoning why. I already have my answer, but I want to discuss with you. How much ammo does this hunter have? He's got a he's got a gun. He's got a with gun. With a lot of ammo. Many ammo. I'm not going with the hunter. One human cannot take on three bears. <laughs> One hunter can't take on seven bulls. Let alone a th- ten thousand rats. Ten what are you gonna do with a gun against ten thousand rats? Immediately bears. You're choosing bears. I want bears. You want the how many was it? Three? Three bears. Ooh. You want three it's only Ooh, three. A fight between three bears and four lions. Um, you have to only I two feel this of is these. unbalanced. I'm not going crocodiles. Crocodiles are too lazy. Right. Bulls are not, like, they don't have the hunt sense. Uh, yeah, they wouldn't be able to fight rats. Rats are, I don't think rats, because they, like, they can make for, over, that's a lot of rats. That's a lot of rats. But that's like they a kill wave. a gorilla. 10,000 rats? Do you, they could just step on 10,000 rats is really good. <laughs> now that I think about it. Yeah. Here's the thing. Eagles could systematically take out the rats. Yeah, 50 eagles. That's a lot of eagles. But, but I know, need I need ground support. You need each eagle to take out two hundred rats. It's crazy. But they can do hit and runs. Yeah. They can go for the eyes. I think. <laughs> so, so definitely, definitely not, not choosing hunter. hunter. No, hunter, no, no hunter, hunter is bot. I feel like is low tier. Low Humans tier. are like usually high tier. Not high tier. The problem is like the hunter would then be against you, which sucks. Oh, he has a gun. Shit. Yeah, he'd be against you then. I don't think he could take out like the rats. He doesn't have enough ammo. Doesn't have enough, yeah. Um, I don't know. I think, like, it's one of those, I don't, Gorilla has, is five, and they're big and strong, but I think a bear is stronger and they have claws. Bear versus gorilla, I think bear would win. Yeah. One on one, on one I think bear would win. Uh, bear versus lion. That's my... The lions could work together, though. The lions could work together. Yeah. Bears, do bears work together? I mean, they could. I don't think they, like, natural, I, think, I don't think natural instincts they I think would, but... bears are the tanks. Of the, <laughs> you know the bears are the tanks. The I heavy, think wolves the are like DPS. Wolves are DPS. They they're good at, but I don't think rats, rats are, are AOE. I think I think I would go lion and then eagles. Lion eagles. So, so but you think you think, think that bears? Fuck. 
You think that you could take on 10,000 rats with any of those? 10,000 rats is my top draft. Real? Yeah, 10,000 rats. 10,000 rats? Are you kidding me? 10,000 rats is like, the, is like the room we're filled up with. Like, or the room we're in, filled with rats. Here's the thing. Are they hungry? Are they aggressive? Do they know they They're have to kill me? They're fighting for you. They're yeah. fighting for you or against you. 10,000 rats is... But eagles can go for the eyes of everything yeah. else. I think the only counter to rats are eagles. I think then I'd say 10,000 rats and then eagles. That was my pick too. Because, that's but a, only because like... That's a okay. solid reasoning. So I think that 10,000 rats is too OP. I think it should probably be 1,000 rats. Yes, that's... 10,000 rats. 10,000 rats I'm thinking about so it. so many. Is like a flood of rats. Yeah. <laughs> they could take out anything. Yeah. yeah. They're like the the scarab beetles from the mummy. I don't know if you've seen the mummy. It's just too much. They it's just like literally like suck everything from you and you become like a skeleton. Yeah. They would just destroy you. So yeah. okay, modify it to one thousand rats. Would you then take rats? Here's the thing. I think bears and lions are really good. I th- wolves. I feel like are okay, but like wolves once could be you, good. you also get a lot. You get a lot more wolves. You, you get do 15 get fifteen wolves. wolves, but it's also like I don't know how the wolf to bear ratio. That's for you to decide. Yeah, my second pick would probably be. I think the extra lion would they would work together. Yeah, and that, I can see I, that. would be like against. I think bears are tough. Gators, no. Gators are too easy to handle. G- gators are way easy. Humans can do. De- de- yeah, the bulls, their tail. Yeah, you, yeah, you can just kill those guys. I think that eagles are a, are a natural choice because of flight, and they can. They're take the only eyes. They can take out eyes. They can take out sure. eyes, which is very useful. Plus, yeah. there's fifty of them. They're good. Gorillas could be good though. Gorillas versus lions. Gorillas might win that. Mm. Gorillas are scrappy, but they don't have claws and they don't have no. They got teeth. they their their amount of muscle on their frame is unbelievable. They can do a big punch, but I think that's their they can knock. They can out do a, a head crush. They can do a big head crush. Yeah, but I think lions are they aren't like apex you ever see you ever predators. see that King Kong where he rips the T Rex jaw in half? He just rips it right open. Are you using Peter Jackson's? King Kong I, as, as a evidence. Scientific reference. The documentary <laughs> King Kong, where they got a real. <laughs> as seen on PBS. Where news. the dinosaurs. <laughs> they give a woman to dinosaurs, I think. On PBS documentary <laughs> hour? Yes. Yep. Yeah. So, so you, you would take, take, you would take eagles. Eagles and 10,000 rats? Yes. Yeah. 10,000 rats is too OP. OP. Yeah. It took me a second and I was like, no, that's OP. Yeah. All right. My last segment Here for go. today. This is another. I have a weird theme today which is uh bad writing okay but this is purposely bad so i found uh this segment is going to be called uh will reads fan fiction but this isn't sexy fan fiction this is just weird fan fiction uh, oh he wants a bone from <laughs> me. um okay so this was this is a harry potter fan fiction sure and it's uh it was made using ai generated text prediction mm-hmm. so it was curated kind of like they had an algorithm read all seven books and then they basically were like, they would ask for the next kind of like words or whatever. Yeah. And then um, they would curate them when so try so to make like, it. So like it a, isn't like a total jungle. It's like a glorified Mad Libs. But yes, it's like, okay. It reads like a Mad Libs. Okay. So it is called Harry Potter and the Portrait of What Looked Like a Large Pile of Ash. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter 13 The Handsome One. Mm. They, they actually wrote this in like screenshots of a book. <laughs> like, <laughs> The castle growl, ground snarled with a wave of magically magnified wind. The sky outside was a great black ceiling which was full of blood. <laughs> Naturally. The only sound drifting from Hagrid's hut were the, were the disdainful shrieks of his own furniture. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's like Pee Wee's Playhouse. Like, they did the secret word! <laughs> <laughs> Magic. It was something that Harry Potter thought was very good. Mm. Leathery sheets of rain lashed at, <laughs> Harry, at Harry's at Harry's ghost as he walked across the grounds toward the castle. Ron was standing there and doing a kind of frenzy tap dance. <laughs> yeah, he sure was. Come on, Harry! Harry, come on, Harry! Time to go! Harry! He saw Harry and immediately began to eat Hermione's family. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What? Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Harry, what are you doing? Oh, no, oh, no, no, I can't stop myself. My tap dancing, I'm so hungry. Ron's Ron shirt was just as bad as Ron himself. Mm, I hate spoken. when he has a... <laughs> he has a shirt on his Rowling a true masterclass. If you two can't clump happily, I'm going to get aggressive, confessed the r- reasonable Hermione. 
Yeah, she is reasonable. What about Ron Magic? Offered Ron. <laughs> Ron Magic? I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> to Harry, Ron was a loud, slow, and soft bird. <laughs> oh, there's a sharp left turn there in the middle of the sentence. Harry did not like to think about birds. Death Eaters are on top of the castle, Ron bleated, <laughs> quivering. Ron was going to be spiders. He just was. He wasn't proud of that, but it was going to be hard to not have spiders all over his body after all is said and done. Look, said Hermione, obviously there are loads of Death Eaters in the castle. Let's listen in on their meeting. That was a proper sentence. That was like a actual... Hey, good job, Hermione. So let's... Good tactics, by the way. Really quick Hermione? Recap. Hold on. I just had a brain blast. Hermione's the Captain America of Harry Potter. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> Damn. Okay, and that's that's how we end this. No more of this. So let's just recap. <laughs> they went onto the grounds with yeah. leathery, re- leathery, leathery rain. rain. And there's blood in the sky. And there's blood in the sky. Naturally. Uh, Ron's wearing a Ron shirt. He turns into <laughs> a... Uh, he's tap dancing, and then he turned into spiders. What Harry, about Ron magic? Ron <laughs> what about Ron, what about magic? Ron magic? And then Hermione is being very reasonable, very reasonable. and doesn't want them. Uh, and there's Death Eaters on the roof. He doesn't. She wants them to clump happily together. To clump happily, yeah. The three complete friends zapped onto the landing outside the door to the castle roof. They almost legged it, but witches are not climbing. Hmm. Ron looked at the doorknob and then looked at Hermione with searing pain. I think it's closed, he noticed. Locked, said Mr. Staircase, the shabby rose ghost. <laughs> oh, yes, my favorite Harry Potter <laughs> I character. Mr. Staircase. Mr. Staircase. He comes in at the end Would and cuts like off that? Neville's head. It's a sharp left turn. He keeps Neville offering off everybody's head and then he cuts off Neville's head. <laughs> he keeps saying, is this a nice staircase? <laughs> yes, Mr. Staircase. Mr. staircase. It's lovely. Yes, it really is. Thank you. Wonderful. <laughs> Locked, said Mr. Staircase, the shabby robed ghost. They looked at the door, screaming about how closed it was and asking it to re- be replaced with a small orb. It's so closed, please. The password was, Beef Women! Hermione cried. Does, does she have like a like a, a tick where she just yells? No, it just says all caps, Beef Women. What shall the password be? Hmm... Mm. Oh, uh, uh, lamb children? No. Professor Roast. Roast beef. Beef women. <laughs> beef women. Harry, Ron, and Hermione quietly stood behind a circle of Death Eaters who looked bad. Oh, they do. I think it's okay if you like me, said one Death Eater. Thank you very much, replied the other. The first Death Eater confidently fo- leaned forward to plant a kiss on his cheek. Sounds so bad at all. Ooh, well done, said the second as his friend stepped back again. All the other Death Eaters clapped politely. Wait a minute, they don't sound mean at all. They all clap. They sound like nice little boys. Oh, good gentle boys. Good job, good show, sir. You good gave him show. a kiss. We will bring civilization to the nation. To these filthy Hogwarts they children. They will be giving each other. That's the secret uh, Death Eater sign in this universe is just a kiss on the cheek. Mm hmm. The Grandma's a death eater. The <gasps> pinch of the cheek is a death sign. <laughs> and then she goes, Avada Kedavra. And she just kills oh, you. Yeah. Oh! Beef women! Beef women! Then they all took a few minutes to go over the plan to get rid of Harry's magic. But what about Ron magic? <laughs> Ron magic. <laughs> they forget about Ron magic all the time. I forgot about Ron magic. Harry could tell that Voldemort was standing right behind him. He felt a great overreaction. <laughs> I'm feeling an overreaction! I mean, he's right, because Harry tore his eyes from his head and threw them <laughs> onto the forest! <laughs> <laughs> he just goes, ah! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't even turn around to see him. He just get, feels him. He's like, it's Voldemort. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the only thing better is Voldemort's reaction. Voldemort raised his eyebrows at Harry, who could not see anything at the moment. <laughs> so Voldemort just goes, oh, fuck. What the fuck? Whoa, this kid is metal as hell. He's metal, metal as hell. <laughs> Voldemort, you are very bad and mean wizard, Harry savagely said. Hermione nodded encouragingly. The tall Death Eater was wearing a shirt that said, Hermione has forgotten how to dance. 
<laughs> so Hermione dipped his yeah. face in mud. Hey guys, we're gonna, hey guys, we're gonna, go, we're gonna go try to defeat Harry Potter and his friends. But <laughs> Fuck you, Hermione. I got these skills for two shoes, man. <laughs> she just can't dance and she forgot how to dance. <laughs> and then Ron's just tap dancing like, you'll never do this, Hermione. Oh, God, <laughs> oh, God damn it. That got me good. <laughs> it's a good one. of the deputies is wearing a, a shirt that said Hermione's ass. <laughs> Hermione can't jump. <laughs> but Ron has Ron magic. <laughs> Ron threw a wand at her Voldemort, and everyone applauded. That's Ron magic for you. <laughs> he just threw his wand, oh, and no. then everyone, even the Death Eaters, went, "Oh, good show!" Good show, Ron. <laughs> Ron smiled. Ron reached for his wand slowly. Why does he have a second Ron magic? He has a second wand. Ron's the handsome one," muttered Harry as he reluctantly reached for his. They cast a spell or two, and jets of green light shot at the Death Eaters' heads. Ron flinched. Whoa. Not so handsome now, thought Harry as he dipped Hermione in hot sauce. <laughs> That's the most mad lib part of it. <laughs> yes, not so handsome now. I'm about to roast Hermione. Dip her in hot sauce. <laughs> she can't dance. She's covered in hot sauce. Why, Useless. She's a part of our group. Can't even throw a wand right. <laughs> the, de- <laughs> the Death Eaters were dead now, and Harry was hungrier than he had ever been. Wait, when did they kill the Death Eaters? They threw their wands, and they shot lightning. Ron magic! Ron magic! The Great Hall was filled with incredible moaning, chandel- cr- incredible moaning chandeliers and a large librarian who had decorated the sinks with books about masonry. Mountains books. of... I love books. <laughs> books! Mountains of mice exploded. Oh, 10,000 mice. Several, several long... Long pumpkins fell out of McGonagall. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Children. I'm a shapeshifter. Children. I'm secretly three pumpkins stuck on top of each other. In Mr. A Potter, coat. collect these pumpkins from me, Bo's taste. Uh, Dumbledore's hair scooted next to Hermione as Dumbledore arrived at the school, so his hair just, like, come in, like, Whoop. cousin it from the Adams family and just said, Jesus, Where's he's Where's Mr. Taking Staircase? It. What is he doing all this whole time? Well, the pig of Hufflepuff pulsed with a like a large bullfrog, Dumbledore smiled at it and placed his hand on its head. You are Hagrid now. <laughs> <laughs> you are Hagrid now. You are Hagrid now. And the pig just squeaks. <laughs> <laughs> We're the only people who matter. He's never going to get rid of us. Harry, Hermione, and Ron said, of course. I feel like that's a real that thing. That is a real thing that J.K. Rowling would write. And then <laughs> Gryffindor wins the House Cup. The floor of the castle seemed like a large pile of magic. The Dursleys had never been to the castle, and they were not about to come here. And Harry Potter and the portrait of what looked like a large pile of ash. <laughs> and they go at the end, and they're like, hey, remember those Dursleys? They still are I thought they bring them up just to say they won't be in this book. <laughs> and Hermione still can't dance. Remember the Dursleys? They're never going to be a deer. Harry looked around and then fell down the spiral staircase for the rest of the summer. What? I'm Harry Potter! The dark arts better be worried. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! The end. The end. I love it. (laughs) That was a long. I had two long ones. That was a good one. Thank you, everyone, for we're we're laughed out at this point. Thanks for coming on that on that journey with us. I have hiccups right now, which is a sign (laughs) of a good old episode right there. Magic. Magic magic. again. Anything from the trolley. We'll take the law. <laughs> no, you won't. Have we talked about how ridiculous that is? Well, there's no time. We have to wrap up. One. Okay. Another, but it's ridiculous. Another... Imagine being the kids in the cart after. Oh, that's, that's the worst. <laughs> he took everything? Oh, God. Thank you so much for listening to Segment City. It's yes. been our pleasure. It's been, been this almost an hour with It's you. been their pleasure. No, it's been our pleasure. No, it's been our pleasure. Uh, we do appreciate you listening. Don't forget to, if you enjoyed the podcast, uh, recommend it to a friend. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. No, I don't think you can do that for podcasts, but you can leave a review. Uh, oh, and please uh, subscribe to get all the newest episodes. Also, if you want to suggest a segment, right in, right please, into right in. Segment City Podcast at gmail.com. It's all lowercase, all one big word. 
And then uh, our Twitter, I think, is just Segment City. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're going to definitely have... I'll probably link some stuff. We haven't been doing user-submitted questions because... This is me parting the curtain real quick. We've been fourth wall shattered. We've been pre-recording some of these, so we'll we'll be getting to those soon. So if you've submitted emails, we're not ignoring you. It's just we we're in the future. Or no, we're in the past. We're in the, uh, we're in the future. Whoa. The future is now. Whoa. Ron Magic, no <laughs> the, no limits on Ron Magic. <laughs> You're Hagrid now. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening, and thank you to Rachel Robeson for our wonderful theme song. Check out her podcast, Create Loud, mm, yes. wherever you get your podcasts, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Goodbye from Bye-bye. Segment City, Bye-bye. and don't forget to tap dance on the way out.